Hi, welcome back. Today, let's have a look at this problem. I'm going to start by using this rule to split out these two terms. So this becomes 4 to the x multiplied by 4 to the 1 plus 4 to the 3 multiplied by 4 to the negative x. And that all equals 257. Now, this negative x is looking like it's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to get rid of that by multiplying throughout by 4 to the x. So 4 to the x times 4 to the x is 4 to the x squared. we still got this 4. I'm going to put that at the front plus 4 cubed is 16.64 and this now becomes 4 to the negative x multiplied by 4 to the x all equals 257 multiplied by 4 to the power of x We've got a few 4 to the power of x's here, so just to make things simple, I'm going to say let u equal 4 to the power of x. Now, substituting this in and rearranging, we get 4 u squared plus 64 multiplied by, well, if we add the powers of x here, we get 4 to the power of 0, which is 1. And this equals 257u. Now, bringing everything over to the left-hand side, we've got 4u squared minus 257u plus 64 equals 0. Now, to solve this, we could use a quadratic formula, or we could complete the square. But I think we can actually factorise this ourselves. It's not too hard. So 4 times 64 is 256. That's only 1 away from our 257. So let's put the 4u here and the u here. And we want to multiply this 4 by 64, so we put the 64 over here. Uh, that leaves 1 to go in there. Now, these numbers are going to multiply to give you a positive, but add to give you a negative. So they've both got to be negative. Right, let's see if that works. 4u squared. Negative 256u negative 1u, so that's negative 257 in total, and negative 1 times negative 64 is plus 64. So yes, we're good. We can now say that either 4u minus 1 equals 0, in which case u equals 1 quarter, or u minus 64 equals 0, in which case u equals 64. Now let's substitute u back into this formula here, and we get that either 4 to the x is a quarter, or 4 to the x is 64. If 4 to the x is 64, then x must equal 3. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. But over here, what do we need to raise 4 to to get a quarter? Well, if x was to equal 1, we'd get 4 to the power of 1, which is 4, which is this inverted. So if we just put a negative sign in front of our 1 here, 
this becomes 4 to the negative 1, which is 4 inverted, which is a quarter. So these are our two answers. Did you get it? Let's just do a couple of checks. If x equals negative 1, we've got 4 to the 0 and 4 to the 4. Well, 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the 4 is 2, 5, 6. So we get 2, 5, 7, which is correct. And if x equals 3, we get 4 to the 4 plus 4 to the 0. So 4 to the 4, 256, 4 to the 0 is 1, and again we get 257. Okay, that's it. Hope that was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe. See you next time.